Hello everyone, I'm Amna. I'm here with the foodie section from Mango Prime. I'm so excited to bring you guys along while I explore Atlantic City and go to Satari. I'm so excited to try Satari. I've heard the ambience is just magical and it's in the heart of Atlantic City. So Atlantic City is known for its high rise buildings, the resorts, the casinos, their beach and their iconic boardwalk. So I have finally made it to Satara and we just arrived so I'm excited to share my food adventure. Hey hi, good evening, uh, welcome to Satara. Uh, let me just introduce myself, I'm Abdullah Panah, one of the co-owners here. And uh, Satara is the world's first Afghan French fusion restaurant. We opened our doors in 2019. Um, the concept for Satara originally began in 2014 when I was visiting my aunt who had a French restaurant in Colorado known as Cafe Monet. It was in a Denver suburb. So we opened up in 2019 with just indoor dining available. However, um, six months after we opened, we were faced with unprecedented uh, COVID pandemic. We immediately started work on an outdoor courtyard. And right now that courtyard is the biggest attraction at Satara. In fact, um, we're the only, um, I believe, uh, restaurant on the Jersey Shore and anywhere in this area that offers um, year-round outdoor dining, whether it's four degrees out or whether it's 90 degrees out. And uh, we're glad to have you here. Uh, and uh, you can leave your passports at home because this is the closest thing to international travel within a driving distance. They have a good variety of Afghan food and French food. There's a good mixture. And then look how cute this glass is. Look at the design on this. This is so unique. And then their placemats are like a rug, like an Afghani rug. Like this whole setup is just so cute. It's so adorable. So our appetizer just arrived. We ordered the bolani, and this is basically like a crispy, um, crispy dough-like material with like potatoes and cilantro inside. And then they give this um, green sauce with it. So I'm about to try it. So I'm gonna dip it in the green sauce, and then I'm gonna eat it. It, it has a nice crisp to it, but then it's also a little doughy. And I can kind of taste the potatoes. I really like the green chutney. It's a little spicy, but it's not too spicy, but I can, I can taste the mint. So it's pretty good. All of the entrees, there comes chef's choice soup. And today's choice of soup is minestrone soup. And it looks really yummy. So I'm about to try it. Um, there's Parmesan cheese in the middle and I believe there's like carrots and different vegetables in here and noodles as well. So I'm going to go ahead and try this. That's very flavorful. Like I can taste all the flavors from the vegetables and it's really, really like, it's tangy, but it's not sweet, but it's a little salty as well, but it was, it's pretty good. So I ordered the Uzbeki plow, and as you can see, there's raisins and carrots with the rice, and then there's a whole lamb shank, and it comes with the green mint chutney, and then it comes with like a pico de gali like salad with like tomatoes, onions, and cucumbers, and it smells very 
flavorful and I can smell the fried carrots and raisins. And then I'm gonna see how the meat is. So. The meat is very tender to break apart, as you can tell, and I'm gonna take my first bite. Very flavorful. I can taste the oldest spices. I can taste the taste of the lamb, and it's, it's really yummy. So I'm gonna try the chicken kebab and it's very, it's tender and it seems like it's moist. I like the color on it, so I'm gonna take a first bite. Oh, this is actually really good. I really like it. It's spicy and it has a good flavor to it. So now I'm about to try the ground beef kebabs and so far they're moist, so I'm about to take a bite. It's not as flavorful. Um, it could use a little bit more spice if there's no, there's not spicy at all. Um, it's not, it's probably not my favorite ground beef kebab. I'm about to try the mantu. So it's basically uh, Afghani style ravioli. It's stuffed with ground beef. And then there's this white sauce and this tomato based sauce. So I'm about to take a bite. It's like a dumpling. Oh, this is really good. This is very flavorful. I can taste flavor in the meat and um, it's kind of light, but it's not heavy. But with the dumpling, it's actually a really good ravioli. Like, it's really yummy. I just got back from Sathara and I wanted to share my experience with you all. So starting with the price, uh, for appetizers, the prices range between 11 to $15, which is kind of on the high end. And then for the entrees, I believe personally, they're actually very expensive. They range from $25 to $35 per dish. And that's a little costly for the amount of food that we get. And also like, we ordered extra gobbly rice on the side and we had we were upcharged for five dollars and we also ordered brown rice and we were upcharged five dollars for that so that's a little expensive on my end so this is a higher end restaurant the service was average um it could have been more attentive and fast but um the place was very busy and it felt like there was not enough servers for all the people that were there uh, it felt like our server was a little overworked and she was running all over the place and trying to get our order correctly, but she did a fantastic job if she wasn't so busy, but I feel that with the service, they need to hire a few more servers because for a weekday and being this busy, um, they should have more servers. My dish that I ordered, the cobbly plow was average. Um, the lamb was tender, but uh, the rice wasn't as flavorful. They could have added more flavor. My favorite was definitely the mantu, which was the Afghani version ravioli. I really loved the flavors for that. I loved the sauce on top. It was very flavorful and it, it was just the perfect combination of dumpling, ground beef, and flavors. Their chicken skewers were so delicious. They were so flavorful. They were full of flavor. They were spicy. They had the right amount of spices it was i really i think that was my second favorite was the chicken screwers the ambience of this restaurant is just outstanding the inside is beautiful they have um on the floor seating they have in booth seating they also just made a new courtyard so they have outdoor seating and it's beautiful there's 
gorgeous colorful flowers all around the courtyard um, there's lanterns everywhere there's wood carved um, doors and the windows it's gorgeous i hope you enjoyed my trip to satara uh, if you like this video please like and comment and please subscribe to mango prime mm -hmm.